All right, so we made it to chapter six in Spanish two, which is exciting. Chapter six is the final chapter that we cover in Spanish two. So one of the concepts is that we're gonna learn how to conjugate IR stem changing verbs in the preterite. I've decided to do notes today in the color purple because purple is the best color ever. And your notes, if you have a purple pen, you should use a purple pen. If you don't have a purple pen, I would love you to just write the word purple in parentheses, right next to the title, please. Write the word purple in parentheses. That way you can imagine that your notes are as beautiful as my notes. So in order to do the preterite of IR stem changing verbs, let's take a verb like um, repetir. Repetir means to repeat, and the E right here in the regular conjugation of the present tense will change from an E to an I. In the past tense, when we conjugate these verbs in the preterite, they're not going to have a stem change except for on the bottom floor right here, in the third person bottom floor. This is where we're going to see a stem change. So I repeated would be repeti. No issue there. Repetiste, still regular verb form, but in the third person for he repeated, it'll become repitio. We repeated, repetimos, and they repeated, repitieron. So our only changes are right here, in the third person. And for this reason, because the change only happens in the bottom there, we have a nice friendly name for these. The other ones were called boot verbs. And since this only happens down here on the bottom, we're going to call these sandal verbs. All right, so here's my little sandal strap. We'll call this one a sandal verb. So that's an E uh, changing to an I. So even verbs that didn't change from E to I in the present tense, like, um, like, uh, well, I can't think of an example right now. So I'll come back to that. Let's do an O. Let's say dormir, to sleep. Now the O in the present tense changed from an O to UE. In the past tense, it's gonna do exactly what it did in the ING form. It changes from an O to a U. Okay, so when we conjugate it, it'll be yo dormi, no problem. Tu dormiste. Then if she slept, the O will change to a U down at the bottom. So durmio, dormimos. and durmiel. Once again, just here in the sandal section, do we have a change from an O to an E? From an O to a U. Man, these notes are a mess. All right, so uh, that's how we do the preterite of IR stem changing verbs. So we've got quite a few IR stem changing verbs like pedir and um, preferir, morir. Uh, I would like you to take one of these, okay, maybe this one right here, preferir, because that is an example where in the present tense it changes from an E to an IE. But in the preterite tense, this E is going to change just to an I because that's the change that you always have in the preterite of an IR verb. E will change to I, O will change to U. So at the bottom of the notes here, what I want you to do is conjugate the verb preferir in the preterite and I'll come check it when I check the notes.